Hello and a very warm welcome to Asia Business Report here in London. I'm Marlene Said. Let's start with China because its central bank has issued new guidelines on internet finance over the weekend. They require online financing platforms to provide better disclosure and to warn customers more regularly about risk. This move comes, of course, after we've seen those sharp falls in the Chinese stock market, which has raised concerns about margin financing and the risk of ordinary citizens losing their savings. The BBC's Joe Lynham has been speaking to China's vice finance minister. He started by asking him if China's stock market is a bubble that's about to burst. With the natural adjusting, but due to the very high leverage Chinese stock market, Usually, material market, there's a leverage of more than 100. But in China, we see some illegal, some leverage is higher than five to six times. That's too high. So that's made that's the market drop to show some panic. So in this key point, Chinese regulation institutions learned and based on international principles, particularly US, UK, in the key market turbulence time intervention. We had that's a comprehensive intervention. Particularly the method is a short time suspension of IPO and uh, central bank give liquidity. And, uh, and a lot of big shareholders, they're not allowed to sell their shares. Uh, this, was of, this is very different for us here in the UK, the idea that you're not allowed to sell your shares. Uh, how would you describe the freedom of the market? Is it, is it a, a fully free market or is it an open market? Can anyone invest and withdraw their money? I think that's uh, any market, that's uh, intervention with that's uh, administration way, including UK, including US. That's, uh, for example, US government uh, reject money in the company of car making, so that's certainly that's the government hold. And the uh, UK, I remember there's a Royal Land Bank shareholder taken by Treasury. So same thing, that's the, uh, but question is that we must uh, fully respect the market principle after relative 